So we're doing green, black, rock. God, I hope I don't. This doesn't involve me pl putting Mosswood Dread Knight into a deck. It is kind of a rock esque card, huh? Yeah, Excavator or Prime Time could both work. Prime Time for value, getting like two creature lands is like a top end rock thing, like Grave Titan. But you don't want Prime Time to be like rampy, right? You don't want it ramping to like Crater Hoof. That stops becoming rock-esque. I think we're going to wheel one of these value duders. I think we can take the Titan. I'm going to grab him to truck out of this pack. Nissa and Troll, both interesting. Metamorph's interesting. But him to truck is a classic rock card. Hey, Disappointing Salad, these the 10 months there. Thanks for sharing that prime. Shoutouts to Papa Had. Had a great, for the great match. Oh, was that my opponent? Yeah. Great, great match. Really good stuff. Time Warp was the next card. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so many outs. So many looks, too. I was terrified. I was absolutely terrified. Wayfinder is sort of rock-esque. I'm going to grab Necromancy here. You can play a value value Necromancy. Totally fine. Snuff Out's interesting, too. Right, Lord of Riots. I think it's just too slow for this cube. Mosswood. I don't hate splashing for gut. <laughs> gut messes people up. I'm going to take Ooze, though. Ooze is a pretty rock s card. Maybe that Tar Tarmogoyful Wheel. This is good. We're getting some good cards. Just need some fixing, hum. <clears throat> Maybe get a Grist. I don't know why this song isn't landing for me. But I'm going to skip it. Hey, fake meme. These are the sob things of 52 months. Appreciate you. We do want a grist, yeah. A couple dorks, a couple discard spells. A little bit of removal, some good fixing, some good value in the mana base. Right, you'd think mountain would be a rock card. A lot of rocks in the mountains. Them's rocks in them, their hills. Oh, I wonder if someone went AFK. Ooh, so the fetch is tempting, but we're going to ignoble. You know, it's pretty perfect. Yeah, some piddly value dork. Would prefer a Corsair, but this is fine. Did they get Hermits from the cube? There's one Hermit, but it's not Deranged Hermit. I think the other Hermit's in here. Would Pernicious Steed be out of place in this cube? Um, not super out of place. It did used to be in. Karn just to draw cards is good, but I'm going to take the Noble. And then at this point, I think Birds of Paradise is the only other dork I would consider. I don't want to be too rampy. Birds of Paradise does get played in um, the pre-modern rock deck. Not always, I don't think, but certainly sometimes I've seen it in there. Some to sack to the Therapy. Make sure your draws aren't slow as balls. I'm going to grab Excavator here. That value excites me a little bit more than Mosswood. Field for prime time. Yeah, it could be a line. I feel like Field of the Dead is not like a rock-esque card, though. Typically. At least I don't put it that way in my brain. Mm. Mm. Y'all didn't know you were going to get free tickets to the gun show with that stretch, huh? <laughs> Hundreds of lucky winners. Oh man, I stepped on a scale the other night. I'm in the, the 280s for the first time, and it's been a long time. Like, years. Years and years. And the weight's still dropping. How tall am I? I am 6'1". Uh, yeah, three months ago, I was at 310, which is like the heaviest I've been in my life. So pretty happy to be going in the other direction. Mostly just from quitting soda. Like, I go on a few walks, and my, my diet has adjusted. My diet is, has adjusted for the, the better. Like, I eat less delivery and stuff. 
But the biggest thing was quitting soda. It turns out when you cut out like 400, 500 calories a day. <laughs> a wall of roots is a great rock card. Perfect. Right, two tone Terran? Yeah. Hell yeah, Beagle. Sounds like we're in kind of a similar place. I almost want this polluted delta over like a, <laughs> like a random off color mox. <laughs> Messing with my idea of what the rock is here. If we see a Minskin Boo, though, I'll be happy. I've got the mox. Hey, there we go. We do have to take it over duress. There's a chance the Overgrown Tomb wheels. There's a chance that we're just like the only person that would want that. I'm going to take it anyway. It's like pretty important to us right now. But the dress would be awesome. We would take dress over vamp in this deck. Hell yeah, Boosh. Proud of you. Karyatin. Maybe. Karyatin feels kind of rampy, doesn't it? I feel like it's too much of that sort of thing. At least it like blocks well. I might take Black Leap Cliffs in case of a splash. Really just not my pack. Well, let's take the Waterlogged Grove, actually. Waterlogged Grove plus Excavator. And Wayfinder. That's like some value. Yeah, I played Wild and Cuddle a couple times. I played Naya a lot, Omni Beat Boom. And if green's one of my base colors, then I'll play Nicodle. It's okay. So we have a value Necromancy. A value Reanimate would also be fine. Totally reasonable. I'm going to take Liliana here, though. Liliana is very rock-esque. And we have a couple ways of playing it on turn two. It'd be pleasant. Very rock sort of card, huh? Grind him out. Green Sun Zenith is not, like... People don't have the rock nostalgia for Green Sun Zenith, but... Nick Fit and Legacy... There's a green-black rock deck that I played a lot of. And it was always a green sun deck. I would use it as like a tutor package. Utility, you know. Whereas like a deck like Elves uses it as a... For, to grab redundant combo pieces or go tutor up Crater Hoof at the end. I think it works here. I think the Hex Mage could also work here. There's another Swamp Forest. I'm going to take it. Virtue's good though. Currently we're a little light on removal. How many cards are here? There's going to be two cards left. We might get this Witherbloom command back. I'd love that. Grist. Yes, Grist. That's so good. Well, there's a removal spell. I kind of dig the curtains. We are light on discard. I would much rather have like a classic one like Duress or whatever. But we are light on removal too, so maybe I should just take the DM. Yeah, the Green Sun gets the Grist. Love that. It's about as rock as you can get in this format, Eric. I agree. Just need a couple one-mana discard spells. And maybe uh, something to fill the 4-5 in the curve. Maybe a couple more walkers or something. Necromancy does not work on Grist. No, Reanimate would have. And Recurring Nightmare would. But Necromancy falls off. Hell yeah, Cody. Are we taking Thoughtseize over any power? I mean, I passed Duress for an Overgrown Tomb. Yeah, it's like, what's the better sideboard card, Contagion or the Lantern? I guess Lantern for me. I could even main deck it, hypothetically. Don't love this Karyatid. Oh, maybe Sky Sovereign's good here. Ugin's a little... A little above our range, I think, where we want to be. Yes, the Witherbloom Command's back. And once upon a time, people do not value this card highly enough. It's been really good for me. What's up, Bayou? The Vista is almost better than the Bayou. Because of the Ramen Up. Duels are so good, though. A duel lets you go, like, turn one Noble Hierarch, turn two Liliana. 
Yeah, Zoopy Zoo, thanks for the sub, thanks for the 60 months, the big 6 0. Can Pernicious D Devil place in a vintage cube? Yeah, I mean, it's a good card. Hey, there's a Minskin Boo. I'll play that. I'm gonna take Bitter Triumph here. I like the carry tid better now that it's fixing for Minsk. I don't want to be too rampy, Mark. If you're too rampy, then you're not really a rock deck anymore. We would rather have like a curve of with some ramp, but like some disruption too. A nice mid rangey curve. These dorks are giving us utility too. I guess we're taking birds here, though. <laughs> also, let's just turn to Necromancy or with the Minsk. I mean, now that we're splashing Minsk, maybe we should grab a Thari. We have this garden. We've got Triome, two white sources base. If it comes back, I'm playing it. <laughs> yeah, we don't have the fetches for the Wren. The Halfling doesn't fix for a lot, right? It doesn't have for him to truck or Dothy and stuff. I don't think I want it. I'm just gonna take Oracle. It's not like the the rockiest rock card of all time, but it's fine. Could also take Crocus for the sideboard. Ooh. Yeah, really could use some fetches here. The Sylvan Library plus Oracle is pretty good though. I didn't get the one mana discard that I wanted. Definitely another black drafter out there that I'm fighting with. I do count once upon a time as a land, yeah. Pedestal is a great one. The top three cheesecake flavors? Oh, I don't know. My favorite cheesecake I've ever had was made, um, was flavored as a brandy old fashioned and used um, cherries that were local here to Wisconsin as the fruit topping. And it was uh, kind of the, the opposite of a New York style cheesecake. What do you think of it as like kind of hard and plain, firm? This was like light and fluff, decadent, rich but not too rich. I think of this cheesecake sometimes. The person that uh, used to make it no longer does. I don't know if they went on a business or on hiatus or something. And they pretty much only baked for businesses. Like, I kind of wanted to track them down and, like, figure out how many cheesecakes I would need to order <laughs> for it to be worth worth it for them. <laughs> I mean, we got some Horizon Lands. There's, like, three. Prime time can go grab them. I'll board in the court of Garenbrig when I'm sure that I'm the aggro deck. And until that moment, I very much do not want it in my deck. Makes sense? I mean, that makes sense to you? I think people are a smidge high on that card from what I've seen of it. We don't need a mountain, right? We have two dorks. We have three dorks. We have three dorks that can fix for red. And then the garden and the ruby. 11 green. That's pretty good. I'm count I'm double counting once upon a time here. Nine black. I said 10 green, right? I think I dig that. I said 11 green. Let's play one more black source then. Yeah, 10, 10. I want a green source is coming to play untapped though. Four, five, six, seven. It's kind of a bare minimum. Once upon a time is a question mark. I 
some real um, fast, proggy nonsense, math rock stuff. Very catchy, though. I think my Sylvan Library is getting thoughts used here. Howling Giant, the band that made my intro on YouTube, put out an album, and it's in my top ten. Also seen a lot of play here on stream. Really dug that one. A band that I just ran into this year for the first time called Fair Schwans. <laughs> they're a little ridiculous. They're they're kind of like if Ramstein did power metal. But I dig them. Stone Statues put out an album that I liked. Church of Misery put out an album that I liked. And then I dug a Mutoid Man's new album. It didn't like blow me away or anything, but I generally like Mutoid Man. I listened to it a lot, so it made the list. And those are my 10 metal albums. There are a few prog bands that I didn't put on the list because they're not metal. Put a miss in the third land over there. I was going to mill them, but <laughs> I guess I'll hit them instead to try and get hits for the, the Daw theme. Well, seems pretty good. <laughs> oh, good stuff. All right, Lantern's coming in. Oh, let's cut the prime time. That necromancy might get good, too. Different sort of graveyard hate. We got news that we can tutor for. It's just like if making sure they don't do the thing too fast, right? In terms of prog bands, um, Advent Horizon's new album, super strong. And then uh, Earthside's new album, I really enjoyed a lot. That's not much of a list, though. That's only two bands. I'm going to go ahead and Green Sun here. I was playing on Sylvan Library. So this green sun might love me Minsk next turn. That seems pretty good. I've decided not to Minsk and Boo. Or do I still play Minsk and Boo here? We have to rely on the Minsk blocking. Like the hamster blocking for the Minsk. I think I'm supposed to Grist, Sack the Ignoble, but then I don't have Red Source is the only issue, right? Letting someone in tap with Shieldred is pretty fucked up. It's a, it's a pretty easy way to lose. They can just play like a draw seven or something, right? And you just lose on the spot. And then the the benefit of being able to untap with Minsk also has risks. Should have played a green source for turn, huh? In case I want to lead on Augur next turn. Just to get value off the top. Bands which are prog but not metal. Well but metal just means is talking about like the the heaviness of the distortion for the guitars and stuff, right? For the difference between like classic rock and classic metal. That garden's list gonna, gonna let me mince next turn. So once you know what metal is, what the difference is, like it's just like the difference between prog rock and prog metal is the same as the difference between metal and rock. Like Coheed and Camria is definitely not a metal band. But people people call them prog, prog rock. Animals as leaders, yeah, they blurred the line a little bit. 
I'd still call them metal, though. It just, like, goes into their tuning. And distortion of what went. Wish I had a wasteland for this colonnade. We play Minsk here to attack the Teferi, and the colonnade just clears the Minsk. Kind of hate it. Hey, Crispy, thanks for the five bucks. Crispy says, always appreciate the music talk. Mirrors from Pupil Slicer and Adel is the architect is still in constant rotation from your last top albums post. Nice. Yeah, I also dug that, that, uh, that Pupil Slicer album a lot. Obviously. <laughs> Have you listened to the new one? It's slightly less chaotic, which I think makes it less fun, but... Some of my friends that are more into the extreme metal than I am like it a lot more. And they also like dug the first one. Bitter Triumph. Oh, is an instant speed answer to Colonnade. I mean, there's still a Teferi here. I'm just going to like hard cast an Archon or something. It's kind of looking that way. Or maybe they just want to do something and then still activate Colonnade. Yeah, it kind of felt like they had a thing, huh? And then the colonnade needs to clear Minsk, so that's a turn off attacking me at least. Chaotic is a good way to describe their basic land choices. They're like all great lands, all good art. You somehow missed that album, so you added to a playlist. Sweet. Hope you enjoy. Yeah, they hit me for four here. I think we start to win the race, right? And like we play Chariot next turn. So I can activate Colonnade Neat Augur on defense. But then I get to damn it. I don't know if I tap like this, huh? <laughs> That's alright. We're just setting them up for the same line next turn. Yeah, I just looked down and saw a duel and assumed I had it. Do we no longer have that lethal now next turn? Like, I don't think they have to block next turn now. I think that just threw it. And we know we're going to draw land. Like, next turn, if we had that 2-3, they would have to activate and block again. That's hilarious. What a throw, huh? 
If I make that attack with the black up, then it works perfectly. If I don't make that attack, it works out fine. I found the one line where I could somehow lose this game. And now they're not going to, right? They're not going to activate the colonnade to block because I, um, I've got this Liliana in play. Maybe if I uptick Liliana before I attack. Right, exactly. Snatching some defeat from the Jaws of Victory there. Well, we had some well-played well played games earlier. <laughs> it's all right to screw up a little bit. Uh, I don't think you're... Yeah, I wasn't talking about uh, Mexico earlier, Cheshire. You said Mexico's number in the world, number one in the world for drinking soda, and number one for obesity. I think a lot of that is what uh, what Coke did to Mexico, right? Like not just heavily advertised, but polluted the water and made it so that Coke is cheaper than buying bottled water in a lot of places. I don't know if that's just Mexico either. That might be like a few places in Central America. It's pretty fucked up though. Have I ever played Elden Ring? I have not. So just like Googling, like I'm sure you can do more reading on this, but like first result of Coca-Cola water issues in Mexico is them sucking wells dry, forcing residents to buy water. Coke also sells bottled water, right? Anyway, you can do your own reading to go in further on it, further detail. It's not going to take over the stream. But they are definitely part of the part to blame there, friend. Can't give them a free pass. That is not it, Cheshire Human. That is certainly part of the culprit. It is not just one thing. But they are profiting from and contributing to it. It is undeniable. There is... <laughs> I say that while you're here denying, but... Mm. Okay, it looks like Palace Jailer would have stopped me from winning this turn anyway. If I had not attacked with the Augur. I really should have just like attacked with the dam up though, and it would have been fine. Jailer lets me see an extra card. Yeah, my only instant speed removal is bitter triumph though, and it was already in the bin. Find us moving on. This might be a matchup where I need to go a little bit more aggressive. Mm. Just thinking for a sec. Mid to want lantern. I wonder if they're trying to cast the archon. It's kind of weird, huh? But the bloom was kind of cute there to get past our Sylvan library. I could punish Hogger by cutting it. It's your fault. We have Oracle here anyway. Yeah, Torbank, but... And, like, obviously I'm not talking about each specific area and such. But if they're the reason that the wells are dry, if they're contributing to polluting the water and stuff, it's, like, hard to give them credit for that, for forcing people to buy their water. Spectrum makes a Mountain Dew-style soda. Interesting. That would have been real interesting for me before I was off soda. There's a lot of propaganda, Chairman. Especially in areas where, you know, Coke has a stranglehold on the governments and stuff. Turn three, Grist versus Court. Well, Grist, like, producing means that the Grist can answer things later. The court gives me the monarch, and I get to draw a card. The opponent has palace dealer in their hand, in their deck. They might just get it another turn anyway. If I'm playing this court, like I, I kind of want to have creatures in play that can actually benefit from the one one counters. I didn't, I didn't think it was a hard choice. Hey, dancing cow, thanks for eleven months.
This uh, this spot's a little trickier, I think. We get Once Upon a Time plus Mystic, or just play the court and start drawing. We get Slam and a B-Skull here. Interesting that the opponent had no plays. I mean, they, they played Tracker into the onboard Grist, so. And they just don't have anything going on. How about the weather? <laughs> I'm with you, Daniel Talkthai. That, uh, that side tangent went a little deep. Was mostly trying to bring something to light. The folks could look into further. Yeah, sweet. Well, regretting boarding that one in. <laughs> As I get destroyed by this Bowman stream. Second turn of court doing nothing counters wise. Sweet. I think we're gonna go like Elvish Mystic, put a batter skull on it. Is Green Sun good? Chris is in our graveyard already. There's like Oracle. Yeah, I think I like just like equipping the batter skull. Opponent's drawing two a turn now though, and they can like chump me for forever. I'm never getting this monarch back. I kinda wanna concede. Game's <laughs> just over. Be a lot closer if I had not played this court ever. Which happens a lot in my experience with court. We can emote only for a little bit. That's a reasonable request. Here, have a draw to. It gives me no value. Isn't that great? Did we board out the prime time? This is like not in here. Yeah, why am I listening to chat? Ugly. Yeah, I wanted to shuffle after that, um, after that bottom, after I saw that I was putting Minsk and stuff on the bottom. Pretty cold to another removal spell, huh? This colonnade might just clear me if I can't like actually connect with the batter skull. But if they don't have a removal spell, if there's land on that Minsk, if we can like play the the Minsk and then like batter skull up a, a boo token, that could be really good. We can turn our emote only off. Mostly a palette cleanser. No, to our back, not funny. Boo. Maybe I got a chance, huh? Maybe I got a chance here. Trading with Skyclave kind of appeals to me. It gives me that 1-1 one, one to equip. So still drawing two for the Monarch. 
But at least Court gave me some 1-1 one -one counters. I can be a little bit less bitter. At least it pumped anything ever. Uh, I'm not familiar with that band, Atomic Goodbye. Have I played them before? Prize Fighter Inferno. Oh, uh, uh, Claudio Band. Interesting. Possible I should have buffed the noble with court instead of oracle here. Minsk is a heck of a card. But it needs a sweeper, but like they can't sweeper and colonnade Minsk very well. Yeah, splashes were uh, specifically allowed with a stip P2 Giselle. And Minsk was <laughs> cited as an example. <laughs> Minsk and um, Blue Power. It has been an offensively good looking uh, colonnade, I agree, Turnpike Bear. Hard to argue with that. Minsk down. Well, it's an 11 lemon boo. <laughs> Phew. I was so worried. I was so worried that that court was just going to continue to do nothing. If they'd had like one more removal spell, right? If they managed to draw like one more removal spell there, they just bury me. And it's certainly a powerful card. His prime time is really not great, right? I did start an Amer start American Idol. Of course I did. How do you think I got so famous? Yeah, I think I watched like the first two seasons of that and then stopped caring. I don't know, P2 Desel. Sounds like you know better than I do. I would trust I would trust your your instinct there. Your memory. Getting famous from being on Dancing with the Stars seems backwards, right? Don't you have to be famous before they let you on that show? I was the time person of the year. What was that, 20, 2014? No, 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 no. 2004? 2004? 2006. Yes. Sorry. Getting all of them confused. See, Jay's a true fan. Jay remembers. Jay remembers the year I was time person of the year. Is that where you first heard of me, Jay? What did Mystical for again? Flash. Interesting. And how did the Woodfall Primus get in their graveyard? I'm, I'm like confused about a few things here. I looked away for a second. Oh, the him got the Woodfall. Well, that's pretty good for me. I do see that they have flash, although I think that I perhaps got the thing that they wanted to flash in. 
That is what it, this game is feeling like to me. Cherry Hit can make boo copies, yes. Not especially useful, but it could do it. What do I think Turox Him sounds like? That's a good question. Maybe some black metal band. I would play a Cult of Fire if I wanted something to sound him to Turokim. That was a really good him to Turok, huh? Just kind of one by itself. Pretty good, pretty groovy. I think Primetime's coming out again. They had Crucible. Crucible kind of makes me want to bring in Excavator. So we can like keep pace with us. Oh, let's play Lantern actually. Lantern's better for Crucible. That's yeah, fine. Top he would be a good one to get down versus Flash, but it's kind of far away for right now. This is the chill playlist, Code Barry. You have him to Tarak as an industrial goth song like Ministry. I could see it. I could see it. Yeah, I'm still playing this Sylvan Library turn one. It's too good. It's too good not to do. Him to Turok is take me to Snurch? No, no. No. <laughs> I could have said it so that I would, um, be able to go Oracle in the Voidwalker here. If I did my last turn Sylvan Library a little bit better. I'd love to have the Voidwalker down before I him, but I'm just going to him here. Regret. Well, I've got this ooze, right? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <clears throat> In retrospect, I definitely should avoid walked. No. Oh, if you if you post the snurch link, I will ban you. I'm sorry, Radafius. You've been fed bad information. Bill's usually correct. I would have trusted Bill. I can't make myself a liar, though. Not how we do things here. They did name Crucible, and they did get it to hand. Can't quite clear Tamio here. We can get very close though. Graveyard hate coming in clutch there. Well, I'm on the draw here. Do we play a reanimator hand? We're not really a reanimator deck, but I mean, the hand's not crazy, right? Opponent's deck was cool. I mean, both of our opponent's decks were cool. They put a mold to four. Immediately have a green source anyway. I'm worried about not having a target for Bitter Triumph to be in the prime time so I can necromancy it.
They got a thing. Awesome. I almost pulled this hand. The opponent's out of Molda for him. Collect my two for one bank. Go, cat friends. You're playing some modern, and it's kind of miserable. Everybody's on Amulet Titan. Yeah, it's kind of miserable. It sounds like you should play some Magus of the Moon. That's what I do. Cool. Primetime did something. Feels like we're in some kind of a value mirror too, huh? We didn't see a ton of their deck, we just saw Fable. I kinda wanna bring in this lantern. I'm just gonna assume that this will work out fine. <laughs> no, this hand's greedy, but we're at, we are in five. We're on the draw. We're on the draw here. The hand's free, right? Uh oh. Opponent's got a lot of mana, but they don't have a lot of cards in hand. Hopefully, the, hopefully this Voidwalker is live. Could you crack Voidwalker for a land? Yes. I don't think I've ever done that, but it says you may play it instead of you may cast it. Really want to uptick here, but <laughs> I'm just going to eat them. Because they didn't loot, you know? Seems really likely that their hand's awesome. I want to discard it for Dothim. I have seen the textless Voidwalker. It does look sick. Let's see if I can find that. Not bad, huh? That's the sort of card where you, you uh, you're you going to tell people what it does, and they're going to be like, I, I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe it does that. So I could play a Fable here. They just discarded Shallow Grave to my Liliana uptick. I'm going to keep my Dothy around. <laughs> it feels like I should keep the Dothy around for a little bit. Smidge long game. My buddy who hadn't uh, played Magic in a while. Really good player. I drafted the Void Walker in cube, just in like a black white deck, just to beat down with. And uh, his. At one point, I had to cycle the the Shark Maker just to, like stay alive because I was getting beaten down so bad. And he's taking this turn. And he's taking this long tank, and I'm just like, "Why don't you sack the Dothy and play the Shark Maker? It seems like you would win really quickly then." And he's like, "Yeah, I just didn't want to like spend my whole turn tapping six. I'm like, "That is that is not how this card reads." <laughs> <That> is... <laughs> 
You're in luck, friend. <laughs> Do we win? Do we trophy? Do we get there with the rock? Good old fashioned Liliana of the Veil doing some work, huh? Heck yeah. Thanks again for the um uh the step mod fantastic. Very cool. Is that back to back trophies? I think it was.